Hey dolls! So I am back from my California trip. Let me fix this just a little bit. My Disneyland trip. And today I am doing my huge haul for you guys. Um, <laughs> I got some things from Disneyland as well as a few things from Universal Studios. And we also made a trip to the Irvine Spectrum so I could hit up a few places there. So I will be showing you some stuff. You guys saw everything that I did in my vlog, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I purchased during my trip. And before I get into this and forget uh, the shirt that I'm wearing right now, I actually got from a hotel gift shop for about $13, I think it was, but it just has Belle, Snow White, Jasmine, and Ariel on it. And this was the only like shirt, like t-shirt that I bought, which is weird. I expect expected to buy more, but this was the only one that I ended up getting. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the rest of this. Before I do show you guys the Disneyland stuff, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got at Universal Studios, as well as Box Lunch in Irvine, because I did want to go ahead and stop at Box Lunch when I was there. Okay, so starting off with Box Lunch, I just put it in my Universal Studios bag for now, but they had a ton of Marie stuff, so of course I had to get it all while I was there. So there is this Marie little notebook journal. This is my favorite page. Like look how cute she is wearing her little dress. I absolutely love it. And it just has cute little dividers and it's just a little lined notebook and it is very cute. So I got that along with these little sticky notes that have kind of the same little patterns. Again, her in the dress is so cute. So these are just little sticky notes for my planner or that notebook or just whatever. Then I got two little keychains. There is this one right here that is Marie and it has a little macaron tower on there and a little milk bottle. Just so cute. And then I got this one as well and this has all three of the little kittens on it. You can see Maria Toulouse and Berlioz on there. It's like a little ice cream cone theme. And then I got the Rollerball perfume. I intentionally had not purchased this online because I didn't know if I was going to like the smell of it or not. But after I smelled it in store, I really fell in love with the scent. So I went ahead and got the little Rollerball. I didn't get the big perfume because I can always just order that later. But the Rollerball is just really cute. And again, I can just throw this in my purse for quick touch-ups on the go. And then the last two things I got from Box Lunch are this Marie Loungefly pin. You guys will see more pins later on. I went kind of pin happy with my trip. And then I also got this little Lady in the Tramp button which is very cute. I actually think that this is Scamp and one of the daughters uh, because Lady and the Tramp didn't know each other when they were puppies. They met later. So I think this is actually just two of the little puppies, but regardless, it's pastel and so precious. I had to have it. So everything right there was from Box Lunch and I believe you can get most all of it off of the website, just boxlunch.com. And then, of course, you guys saw in my vlog, I had to stop at Honey and Butter Macarons because, don't tell anyone, but you guys know, like, I work at a bakery and we make macarons all the time, like, we specialize in them. But between you and me, um, Honey and Butter have the best macarons that I've ever tried in my entire existence. They're just so soft and thick and fluffy and, like, perfection. Ours are pretty good. Like, ours are really delicious, but, like, Honey and Butter, I don't know what they do different. It's just amazing. So they gave me this little, uh, little postcard thing. It just has a little invitation on here. You're invited to our Tokidoki brand launch party March 23rd. I obviously am not going to be there, but I wasn't about to turn down this super cute little postcard. So of course I had to have that. Um, but you guys saw in my vlog, I got my macarons and everything. So I'm not going to talk too much about those. So that is everything that I got in Irvine. And now I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got at Universal Studios. I only got a couple little tiny things. I got Alan a Fast and the Furious shirt. And then I also got um, a Hello Kitty or little Sanrio pin. 
This was at the Hello Kitty kind of animation store that I showed you guys in my vlog. So I had to get that pin. It was very cute. And then they also had there this cotton candy flavored like little chocolate bar thing. And of course I had to get it because look at how cute it is. It has all the little characters on there. So of course I had to grab that. And then I went into a different store and they had more chocolate bars and they told me they were three for 10. I just went ahead and bought these ones as well because I really wanted to get the ET one for my mom because she loves ET so much. And this is the chocolatey peanut butter bar with peanut butter candy pieces so it's kind of as if it's like Reese's Pieces candy and it's like ET themed which makes sense with the Reese's Pieces so I thought that was really cute had to get that for my mom and then I got the back to the future bar and this is chocolate flavored malted milkshake bar I just got that one because and then this one I also just got because because I wanted the ET one to begin with and I saw these other ones there so I got the minion fuel uh, milk chocolate with banana bits so i'm excited to try all of these minus the et because like i said i'm giving that one to my mama also i didn't purchase these but i wanted to show these to you guys because i thought it was neat we had gotten on the mummy first and i showed this all in my vlog so i'm not gonna really talk about it too much but we went to the transformers ride right after we got off the mummy and they were experiencing technical difficulties so they weren't able to open on time like they had originally wanted to and so they had a cast member or a worker come down the line and hand out everybody just little mini jelly bean packets as like a little thank you for the patience and for just you know if you want to wait in line here's a little snack or something like that which I thought was really cute so we got our little jelly bean packets which was just a fun little thing to include so that's everything from Universal Studios like I said I also got Alan a Fast and the Furious a t-shirt as well and now moving on to the Disneyland stuff. Most all of this stuff I got in Downtown Disney at World of Disney, but a lot of it you can find in the park as well. There is a gift shop that we like to go to, a hotel gift shop, and it's where I got this shirt. But I did wanna show you guys, I got a couple things from there as well. I did not get these in the actual park, but I got this cute 2019 Minnie Mouse keychain. It is so cute, so precious. I love it so much. And then I got an Aurora little Sleeping Beauty pin. It looks just like this. It's so cute. And the cap just pops right off. I got a Minnie Mouse one of these last time I went. And so I was so happy when I saw that they have a new Aurora one. I got my mom a new Tigger keychain because the last one that she had gotten on one of our previous trips had broken, so I wanted to get her a new one. And then I also got her a Grumpy keychain. We used to always call my dad Grumpy. Just kind of a cute little thoughtful gift. So those are just a couple little tiny things that I got at that uh, gift shop by our hotel. And now moving on to all this stuff from Disneyland. Most all of this stuff I got at World of Disney, but you can probably find it throughout the park itself as well. I don't remember a lot of the shops that I got these things from. Like I said, most of them came from World of Disney, but some of them came from other little gift shops as well. I think something came from like the Toontown gift shop. Um, obviously these um, chocolate peanut clusters came from the Candy Palace on Main Street. So kind of just like random little things here and there. I got Rebel a new toy. I'm not gonna squeak this right now because he is just gonna freak out. He sees me holding it and he's so excited. Um, this was like 17 or 18 dollars. I got it at World of Disney the first night, but he loves this. This is his new favorite toy of all time, which I'm so thankful of. He has not put it down other than for me to show this video for you guys. He went to bed with it the first night that I got back home and he woke up and he took it upstairs and he started playing with it right when he woke up the next morning and he is obsessed with this they also have like the ice cream bar and other ones but of course I had to get this one and it is just so cute and he is obsessed with it so I'm gonna give that back to him while I continue filming 
And I guess I won't show this stuff in any really particular order. I'm just going to start going through everything. So I got the 2019 photo album. It's cool because you can put a little photo right here. And I have already submitted all my photos to be printed. I use the website um, yorkphoto.com to have mine printed. And it's cool because I ordered them like during St. Patrick's Day. So the website was like 50% off. They're constantly having sales there. So I was able to print off like 200 photos for a very reasonable amount of money which was awesome but I love this because on the inside it has a double-sided CD sleeve so that you can put all of your photos and videos and everything on a CD or two CDs and then put them in the front compartment so not only do you have the physical copies you also have the little digital copies in the front right here which is what I'm going to do and then they also have little lines right here so that you can write your own stuff throughout the entire book. This holds 200 four by six photos, which is quite a bit. So of course I'm going to fill this baby on up and it is just so cute. It's just the 2019 one. It's all sparkly and pretty. It says Disneyland on the back. I'm not sure the price of this, but, um, yeah, very cute. Had to get that. That was on one of my to get lists when I went. This is the Aurora Sleeping Beauty mug. Again, I saw this online and it was kind of on my to get list. So I knew that I was going to be getting this when I went. Very cute. I always have to get a new mug or cup of some sort when I go. So I had to get that. The Mickey Mouse birthday sipper. When I got this, I got it on my very, very last night. And really, the only reason I got this is because I didn't get a plushie. I told myself that if I didn't get a plushie, I would get the birthday sipper. But if I did get a plushie, I wouldn't get the birthday sipper. And I decided not to get a plush while I was there. So I got the birthday sipper the very last night we were there. We stopped at Refreshment Corner on Main Street, and I just picked this up and I got it with nothing in it so that it wouldn't be all sticky and gross when I brought it home but in case you guys were curious this is how you open it to put drinks in it um this is the straw right here and then his head literally just pops off like so his ears just pop off which I think is actually kind of cute because it's like a little pair of ears on its own and then this is what the inside of it looks like so as you can see it does not hold that much at all I don't think it even says on here how much it holds I think maybe it holds like eight ounces if that um, it doesn't it doesn't hold much at all, but I got it more as a Display piece than an actual drinking cup because I'm probably never going to use this Like to drink out of but it was adorable and I really wanted to get it to just like display on the counter in the kitchen or in my bedroom Just a really cute little decoration piece, which is so precious and again um, I got this at Refreshment Corner, and you can get them all throughout the parks right now for the 90th celebration year. These are only available for the year of 2019, as far as I know, for Mickey's 90th celebration, and they are $25, but they do include a fountain drink in it, included in the purchase, but you can get it just without anything in it as well, which is what I did. Okay, next, I got this in the park itself, but this is a pressed coin collection. I haven't seen these books before, so this was brilliant. I got the princess one, but they also have different themed ones. They have a Disneyland one, and they have like I think they had a Star Wars one. I'm not 100% sure though, but they have them throughout the parks and pretty much wherever there's a pressed coin penny machine or whatever, they're they've they're bound to have these kind of close by. So I actually got eight pressed coins when we went to Universal Studios. I got all eight of the Sanrio ones and then I got Cars Land, California Adventure with the Walt and Mickey statue. I got Big Thunder Mountain and Splash Mountain. So here you can kind of see them. I know it's hard to see these on camera, especially with the glare. This pom-pom Purin right here, I'm actually sending to my friend Angel. Because um, she loves pom-pom Purin. He's her favorite. But there you can kind of see them in there. And I'm so excited to collect more of these in future trips. And the reason I didn't collect as many this trip is because I didn't really even get my coins until like this second to the last day or something I got pennies out of the penny machine in the penny arcade where you 
uh, put your quarter in and it spits out like 25 pennies or whatever to use in the penny machines. I didn't get to do that until later because the machine was broken. So I didn't get to collect as many as I had hoped I would be able to, but that is totally okay. I can collect more later and that's the beauty of this is there's all these open slots. So all of my little future trips and stuff I can collect more and they are constantly rotating out the penny designs in the parks so just because you think you've collected them all keep checking back because they do rotate out the design and I got two of these little oh my gosh I forgot about something that I got from Irvine let me show you guys this real quick we went into this Japanese themed store and it was called mini so I think is what it's called it's spelled just like this mini so and I asked them if they had an online store and they said unfortunately they don't but I saw this power bank in there and I don't know why but I just fell in love with it everything was like pastel and cute in there they had like pink frying pans and I wanted to just buy everything but of course I had to do my luggage coming back home so I couldn't buy as much as I wanted to there uh, but they had really cute like pink touch lamps and all kinds of cute stuff but I had to get this power bank I didn't have to I chose to because it's like a 10,000 milliamp one and this will charge my phone a couple times and I didn't have an external power bank that was like this good ever it does have two little ports in the bottom and I bought this so that we could use it like on the flight home or for future trips or whatever. So I forgot about that, but I did get this in the Irvine Spectrum Center. I got this in World of Disney, but I've also seen them throughout the park as well. This is just a like Disney dogs, a little picture frame but you can all it's a magnetic one so it just hangs up on the fridge and I'm not really liking how Georgette is pink it kind of throws off the vibe here but it's still really really cute I love this I had to have it of course because it's got Lady in the Tramp and Pongo and just cute cute doggies on there and of course I want to put a picture of my little rebel in there and then later on, when I think this was at the Five and Dime shop in Toontown, I found this blue one and I fell in love with it. And this one's cool because it has the little stand on the back. So you can either use it as a magnet or stand it up. And this one has little doggies on it too. Oh my gosh, sorry. This one has little doggies on it too. It's got Bolt on there and Pluto and Copper, Pongo, Perdita, Leading and Trent. It's just so cute. And this one is just a little bit bigger as you can see but of course I just I got two of them because I can put one on the fridge upstairs keep one in my bedroom whatever just precious so I got both of those oh I forgot to show this too this isn't Disney theme but I forgot to show it I got this we did the Hollywood Walk of Fame and it wasn't as exciting as I had hoped it to be so um for anyone wanting to do that uh it's not that great <laughs> the environment is filthy and it's just really really disgusting it's like a dirty environment and I don't know it's cool to see the stars on the sidewalk and everything and it's cool to go into some of the gift shops and stuff that they have there because they have crazy sales like five t-shirts for ten dollars and things like that so if you're um, a tourist and you want to save some money on souvenirs to take back home definitely check out those shops but as far as the environment it kind of it, it's it's very off-putting and I don't know as if it'll be like one of the places that I have to go back to um, we didn't do the Ripley's Believe It or Not or different things in the area. We just pretty much walked the Hollywood Walk and that was about it. We did go into a couple of the shops though and I found this hoodie. It just says Hollywood California on it and it is all sparkly and I think this was about $30 or something like that. But it's really thick. It is fleece lined and is very very comfy so and of course the pink matches my hair right here perfectly so I did end up getting this this was the only thing that I got from Hollywood okay now bouncing back to the Disneyland stuff sorry about that uh, I'll show you the few clothes that I got I got obviously the shirt that I'm wearing like I said before I got um, these sweatpants these are so stinking cute I love these so much these I got at World of Disney and they are just a pastel pink and they say Disney Princess along the side and they do have pockets and on the butt they just have a little patch that says Disney Princess Disneyland just like that and these were $25 they were in the little girl section so this is a size extra large 
I have not tried these on to make sure they fit me yet, but I don't doubt that they will. $25 for a pair of sweatpants at Disneyland really is not that bad at all. Um, considering that these leggings were like $37 a pair, but I had to have these. Uh, yeah, $36.99. These are the Disney cat ones. So they're black and they have all the little Disney cats all over it. There's Figaro, Cheshire. There's even Scat Cat on here, which is so cute. So it's a majority of Aristocat cats, which I am not complaining about at all. You guys know I am obsessed with Aristocats. So had to get these guys. And then of course, oh, these ones are so cute. I had to get the Disney dog ones. Absolutely love these. They are just so cute. Even Jacques is on here, which I think is so cute with little scamp. Little scamp pulling his sweater. So, so cute. And Pluto, and Lady and the Tramp. Sorry, my camera is going all weird. It does that when I show blue items, but so cute. I could not pass these up. So I did get both of those pair of lagging, lagging, leggings, leggings. Okay, and then the Pisa de Resistance. I got the Daniel Nicole Castle Purse. This is the crossbody. Uh, before you guys get too excited, this thing is $75. Ouch, I know. But this was one of the things that I had on my bucket list to get, like on my to get list before I even went. And I'm so glad that I was able to find it. I found this one at World of Disney. And then later on, I had texted with my friend Angel and she asked me if she PayPal'd me the money if I could pick her one up too because people are selling them for crazy amounts on eBay. So I went ahead and did that and I didn't go back to Downtown Disney because we were just so like caught up. So I went down Main Street and I only found one purse, one other one of these. It's in this bag right here. I found this one and it worked out perfectly because we were by the kind of crystal shop, like the jewelry crystal shop place. And I saw this in a display and I asked the lady working the counter, the cast member there, I was like, do you guys happen to have any more of those castle bags in stock? Um, and she's like, actually, we don't. This is our very last one, but I'll sell it to you. And then she opened up the little display case and grabbed that one out, which is perfect, amazing, awesome. I'm so happy that I was able to get that for my friend. But um, I do want to tell you guys also, if you are looking to get one of these bags, I know they have a Walt Disney World version as well of the, the Cinderella Castle. Um, the strap does not adjust, which sucks really bad for short people. I am only five foot. My friend Angel is only five foot, so we are shorties. This, when it is on my body, crossbody style, it literally hangs below my crotch. <laughs> And so I asked Alan, my fiance, if he could remove quite a few of these links and just kind of make it a little bit shorter. He said he could do that no problem. So I am waiting for him to do that, but I wanted to show this haul to you guys first and show you what it looks like store-bought. And then later on, you'll probably see it kind of customized a little bit. And I asked my friend Angel also if she would want Alan to kind of customize it and take out a few links. Keep in mind that that does dole down the, the worth of the bag. So if you were to resell it later, that is going to affect the resell price. Um, but for me personally, I don't care about that. I just want to be able to use this bag since I paid so much for it. Um, so I do want to have the links kind of taken down a little bit. But it is just so beautiful. And as you can see in here, I have all the pins that I got so I will go ahead and show those in a second but before I do I have this little keychain here and this came with a ton of other little keychains on it that can be used as phone charms so there is this one right here that is Mickey and Minnie this one right here says Disneyland this one has the castle and haunted mansion on it just like that. I want to take this one off and actually make it a necklace. I think that would be really cute. And then this one right here has Small World and the Fun Wheel. And you kind of just take these off, use them for whatever, or just leave them on the whole big keychain like this. But it is very, very cute. And then all of the pins, this is going to close out this little haul. 
Uh, Alan picked out this one. He loved it, and so I got it for him. It's on his lanyard. I told him I couldn't give him his lanyard back until I filmed my haul because I wanted to show this pin. Um, it is, I'm right, you're wrong, any questions? And it is a grumpy, so it was really cute. I'm glad that he felt that he needed a pin. I thought that was really cute. And I think I have a officially converted him to the Disney uh, lifestyle. At least the Disneyland lifestyle. He really enjoyed himself. He did have a really, really good time his first visit. And he said that he is more than happy to go back in the future. So that is awesome. So now I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the pins that I got. Oh, I have a few other things in here as well. I can go ahead and show you guys as a little haul. Uh, a cast member in Toontown found us and gave us these little Mickey stickers. She saw that Alan had a first visit button and that we were celebrating our 10 year anniversary. So she just gave us these little stickers, which I thought was really cute. I got Esmeralda Prophecies. You guys know I have to get these every time. However, I have three of them. And the reason I have three of them is because Alan and I got these on our anniversary. And I got this one right here. It says, you may voyage to the edge of the frontier today. Your passage requires only a willingness to join others in astonishment at the wonders that lay before you. And one of my magic numbers was 14 on 314. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So I got this one. And then Alan put in his quarter and he got this one. And it says, you may voyage to the edge of the frontier today. Your passage requires only a willingness to join others in astonishment at the wonders that lay before you. And his has different magic numbers, 7, 17, and 55. These are both the exact same prophecy, minus the numbers. And I've never had this happen before. I've never had back-to-back -back the same prophecies, back-to-back. -back. And so I was like, okay... We have to put in one more quarter to see if this is just the basic one that they have for the day and they just change the numbers for each person or for each card. We have to put another coin in and find out if it's the same. And we put a third quarter in and this one's different. It says, flights of fantasy can be yours today. Let your imagination soar and the memories will last a lifetime. And we thought this was perfect because like these two we got together. So we have like this same little prophecy thing. And then we put that one in together. We both like held the coin and put it in at the same time. We're like, okay, this next one, it's going to be ours. And that one popped out. And I thought it was perfect for our anniversary. It was really cute. But I had never seen two of the same exact one back to back like that before on our anniversary. Like it was a sign. I don't know what happened, but it was really, really cool. And so we do have three of those. I'm going to be putting these in my little photo album also, but just so precious. And then one other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. I have a Sensi business card. This is from Amy and she was a cast member on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and we had gotten up there and I was wearing my Daisy Duck shirt and I had my little Daisy Duck keychain on my backpack and she looks at me and she goes, you really like Daisy, don't you? I'm like, yeah, she's really cute. She's like, that's awesome. And then she asked how many was in our party. We said two. She put us in line and then we were waiting in line to get on the train car and she runs up to me and she goes, hey, I just wanted to sneak this to you because there's a really cute Daisy Duck plush on the website that I think you might like. And so it's her little Scentsy business card. So if you guys want to order some Scentsy and give her some commission for it, here you go. Here's her little link. You can kind of screenshot uh, the screen and use it. But uh, I thought that was really cool that she just kind of like gave this to me and she was just kind of promoting herself. And I'll probably use it later, to be honest. Uh, and then all of my pins, like I said, I got Alan, that grumpy one. And then I got quite a few. <laughs> I got this one is the new Marie one that I haven't seen yet. It says, because I'm a lady, that's why. And it's really cute. It's got her on there. I love that, like this little frame right here. It's so cute. So I got her. Then I wanted to get a Dumbo one just because the new movie is coming out and Dumbo is adorable. And I love this pin. I love how it's kind of like pastel, but like the traditional Dumbo look. I think it's very, very cute. So I got that. 
And then I got a Robin Hood because I've been wanting a Robin Hood pin. I haven't had that one yet. So, of course, I was on the lookout for that. As well as this Dalmatian one. This has Pongo and Perdita on it. So cute. Then I have little Scampy Scamp here. Like a little baby Scampy boy. So precious. And then this one's really cool. Um, I have the Disney Visa credit card. And if your purchase is over $50, whether it be on souvenirs, merch, or food, you save 10% on any like qualifying purchase over $50. And so I had like $35, it was like $38, $39 or something like that. And she's like, oh, hey, if you spend like 10 or 12 more dollars, you can save 10%, so it's almost like you're getting that pin half off or something. And I was like, okay, let me go grab this one. It is really cute. I'm glad I got it. Um, it has Mickey and Minnie on there, and it says, I love you. But when you turn it, it says, you love me. And this little you just bounces back and forth, and it's kind of like one of those little interactive pins. So it is very, very precious. I'm glad I went ahead and got this one. And again, it was like I got it half off because I was saving that 10%. Okay, and then the last two pins that I got, this one right here is precious. It is Beauty and the Beast, and it is so, so cute. I love, love, love that one so much. And then this one I saw in like three different shops before I went ahead and caved and got it. I felt like I needed it to begin with, but I kind of put it off, and I saw it like the third time I saw it I was like okay I'm getting this because it was just in my head I could not forget about it and I needed it so this one has Mufasa, Sarabi, and Simba on here and it's just so cute it's like the little family and it's precious and I don't think I have any Lion King pins yet so I really needed one and I'm glad that I found this one because it was just so so cute. And then the very last thing I got when I was checking out at World of Disney, they have reusable tote bags. And this is the medium size one, believe it or not. And it was only $1.50. They have a small size for $1, a medium size for $1.50, and a large size for $2.25. And I figured that I needed to carry all my stuff around that I bought that night anyway so that I would get a medium size tote bag. So it just looks like this has Donald, Mickey, Pluto, and Goofy on it. And then you turn it around and it says World of Disney and it has the main man himself Mickey Mouse so I'll be able to have my own little reusable bag to take grocery shopping and stuff at home now um, I have quite a few more but there's just a larger sized one and it's Disney so that's it that makes it even better right so that is everything that I got from Disneyland I think I don't think I'm forgetting anything uh watch my vlogs if you haven't already if you want to see me try some snacks and treats and foods and just see how my adventures played out during my trip and with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite item is that I showed. I know this is a huge haul and it's kind of hard to pick just one thing. But if you can, pick one thing and let me know down below what your favorite is. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. My dog really wants to play now. So I'm going to go play with him and I will talk to you all next time. Thank you guys for tagging along with me on this journey. If you did watch my vlogs, I had so, so much fun and hopefully I will be able to go back sooner than later. Oh, I just love Disney so much. It has my heart and I'm so sad that I'm home now, but at least I have the vlog footage and all of these goodies to kind of remember my trip and just hold it all close and tight when I am missing it all. <laughs> So yeah, I will talk to you all in my next video, and until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye!